Hello guys, this is Dr. Lior Barl. So, right here is the next episode, uh, and we're going over the file cabinet. Like, like, like I just told you. So we be sure to look back at past uh, mini sods, mini episodes based on your request. I showed you guys how to do, and I'm saying this like a broken record and everything, just in case somebody who's new reaches here. Uh, if anybody wants to check out uh, back episodes of how to build a uh, gaming slash post production. Uh, computer on the cheap that has a retail value of like fifteen hundred to three thousand dollars and build it for really cheap. I show you guys how to do that. Then you guys requested the helmet, and I did a mini um, a mini series how to build a Star Killer helmet or even Iron Man helmet, whatever you guys want to do on the 3D printer from beginning to end with finished and weather you know to finish with weathering. Uh, you know paint and all kinds of crap that I did on that so I show you guys how to do that and then you guys request me to do a how to build a gaming slash productivity slash uh, 3d printer slash uh, post uh, uh, post production uh, desk table so I went ahead and did that and just like on all the episodes I show you how to do things for example this desk is worth anywhere between uh, uh, $900 to about $1,500. Now, you're going to be able to build this exact table, okay, for about anywhere from, I'm going to say, uh, a little bit over $300 to, if you want the file cabinet that I'm about to review here, it's going to cost you a little bit over the $400 mark. So you're saving a crap ton of money and you're going to get the best damn thing ever. Okay, so now we're going to go right into this beauty right here. So I just got it here and, uh, in the mail. Now I am gonna tell you guys to be very careful with these things. Anything that's made out of wood, you wanna be home to inspect it. So if it sucks, you give it back to the, uh, to the uh, sender. Uh, you know, you, you return it back to sender, but you give it back to UPS or FedEx, whoever the heck uh, delivered it to you so they can give you, uh, you know, so the, uh, they can return it back and you'll get a refund or a replacement. If it has dings and stuff, as I showed you, the tabletop did have dings. I got 75% off that from the eBay, so I only paid uh, like 25 bucks for it, which is pretty darn cheap for a beautiful uh, wood like that. And you could easily fix it anyway with epoxy and a little bit of a wood glue or something like that. But you know, you you paid you know you paid a certain money for it. You need to get a perfect item. End of story. Now, most of these things actually come from the manufacturer defected because. From the manufacturer, I'm actually seeing the box, the boxing and everything. It looks incredible. It looks really well packaged. I don't see how any kind of throw, especially when the styrofoam or anything like that is not cracked, how the actual tables are cracked. So it's got to be a manufacturing issue. Uh, so again, you can always contact them back. I bought everything from eBay, so I'm showing you right now the listing right here, the picture. Uh, definitely go and get it from whoever. Just put that listing in and you'll get it. Uh, that being said, always... <laughs> Always make sure, I did not see this, that you read this beauty right here, that it says, important, please open carefully, returns will only be accepted in original packaging, okay? So I hope this is not wood, because I did order all metal, but you never know. Uh, so, so far it looks like it is metal, so you have nothing really to worry about. Here we go. These are for the file cabinet, so it comes uh, with one of these. I've got no focus on this baby. Hold on, so let me put this on the side here. Uh, then you get yourself, ooh, look at that, this came right, fell right down. Uh, came with another uh, shelf right here. So this is all metal uh, construction, which I'm really happy. The only negative thing I have to say is that it didn't come in black, it's dark gray. Uh, this is portable, so you are you can move it around, uh, you know, coasters and stuff like that. So uh, It has, uh, uh, you know, um, wheels and stuff under there, so that's pretty good. So the, it's like sheet metal, very light, nothing really heavy duty, but can, you know, can carry a lot, so that's the good part about it. Uh, it claims that it could carry, I forgot what it was. Um, I think it was, I'm gonna check it out for you. Just toss that thing over there. Ooh, look at that. So you get another, lots of sheet metal here. <laughs> oh, look at that. And then instruction manual, also packaged with nice styrofoam. But what I love about metal is there's no way it can break. So that, to me, is a big plus. Here we go. Those are rails, a little more rails here. Oh, here we go. Oh. It actually 
actually fell from the bottom right after the open it. This is why it's very, you have to be very careful with these things. These are the face plates. Now I'm going to show you what I like about the face, face plates. So you can actually put um, cards in here, as you can see. So when you put cards, it actually labels each and every one of it. So you know, let's say CDs or wedding videos or anything you put on here, you'll have uh, labels for it. Even though, you know, I mean, it's only five drawers, so how can you screw that up? But <laughs> it is good that it has that option. Very nicely packed here. Uh, everything looks to be pretty cool. So it has its face plates. It's Reels, and where's that little sucker I'm looking for? And here you go. So it has uh, wheels, coasters, whatever they're called, cast wheel casters, whatever, uh, with its screws. And it has the drawer pulleys and its screws as well. And I think this is extremely easy to put together, but we're gonna see. Uh, I, I think it's like a tool-less design sort of to put it together, but we'll, we'll find out right now. Uh, so let me get back to you once this is done and I'll tell you exactly how this, uh, how this thing is. Now, as, as you can see, very easy instruction booklet. I love the ones with pictures because when you get things, you don't know where they're coming from. It could be coming from China, it could be coming from whatever. It's always good to just see, see number five with this, number six with that. You can't screw this up when you have uh, pictures <laughs> it even says the word click. That's hilarious. So, <laughs> so really, uh, that kind of got me right now. Uh, so really, this is a uh, good, definitely, <coughs> definitely great uh, <laughs> to see uh, this thing that it's done in pictures instead of just horrible translation and writing. So really nice, really easy to do. I usually hate when it has all these models and they just have a all in one. Uh, but let's see how this baby looks. So I'll be back in a few. So I'm, I'm just gonna put them together right now. So guys, I never built this before, so this is pretty cool. Uh, but as you can see, any anybody could build this. It's foolproof, so you got nothing to worry about. And it is. It looks like a toolless design. So for example, it's calling for a number two. It's even labeled, right? And then you get yourself one of these. Okay. Now look at this. This is toolless. So you have to make sure this one goes, I believe, here. See, there's no way you could screw it up. It won't go any other way. So there you go, look at this. And then it just clicks. That's the click that we're talking about. So already you're setting up the whole damn thing, which is pretty freaking awesome if you think about it. I mean, look at this, it's all tool toolless. So I could just do this right now. Very, very simple. <laughs> if I could get this actually going. Um, Where's that one? That one goes, oops, sorry. So you just hook it in there, right there, and then you click, <laughs> and then you get that out. So we're gonna just do this right now really quick. So this is pretty easy. Holding the phone is a little bit hard, but that's how you do it, you know, you gotta do it. Ah, uh, here we go, oh boy, here we go doing it like a it's kind of like a slide on my lap here so you could see I, if I could do this with one hand you guys could do this in a cinch and I bet you it would look even nicer than I than the ones I have because y'all guys are so damn awesome and I'm missing one I don't know where I put it but we'll look for it <laughs> we'll be back when it's complete just wanted to make a note here from what it looks like this doesn't uh, this is all of them okay so what, uh, the reason why they give you permission to do all of this is if you want to have smaller drawers, you could be able to do that. But you get to decide, really, where do you want to put the bigger drawer. So I think I'm going to keep my bigger drawer um, pop, probably in the bottom. So I'm going to want to take this out. So we're going to unclick. Ugh. I have to do it here. So I'm going to unclick it and put it. Give me one second. So there you go, made that big thing. Now remember, when you're taking it out, if you made a mistake, look what happened to me. You get cut. These things are sharp as hell. So just be careful with this. Uh, I gotta go tend to this little tiny ass wound. But uh, really easy to do. 
Uh, just the removal is hard, which is a good sign. That means it's extremely sturdy to the point that you have to put a lot of pressure on it. Even when I was pressing down on this, it still took a significant amount of pressure to, to actually take it out. So as you can see, very, very well put together. Toolless design. <laughs> Put blood on the background, a little graphic, little gore for you. So be back when it's complete. Okay, guys, so here's the finished product. I mean, pretty much toolless uh, design and putting things together. Just, you know, these you had to put uh, with, um, you know, some screws and stuff like that. And also the wheels, as you can see, the caster wheels right here. So this is really good. It's actually, I was kind of disappointed because it looked smaller than I thought it was going to be. But, I, you know, the thing goes under a, a desk. So, I mean, what do you expect? But guess what? It's pretty darn big. I mean, you could see here, I put two of my 3D printing uh, tools. Oh, God, I got to find locking caster wheels. And right here, oh, boy, I have to put plastic ones, too. So, um... See, the reason why it's doing that is because this thing is a, is a megaton. Uh, that's my uh, ugh, my sander. <laughs> if I put it in, you have to really squeeze that baby in. Uh, and then you have another, you know, two more like this. Oh, God, the tag came off. And, of course, a bigger one over here, which I'm going to put, like, my CDs. Oh, look at that. I have to stick these on. I just put them on temporarily. Uh, but it's so freaking cool. I'm actually going to use plastic ones instead of paper ones. So this is really darn cool. It goes right under your desk and just really cool. You could roll it all the way here to the side and you got it. It's really freaking awesome uh, by design. Yes, I actually sat on this. So the thing uh, <laughs> does bend. So this thing is very gentle. It's a beautiful thing, but... Very gentle if you sit on top of it. It's made like sheet metal, everything. So just be, you know, mindful about that. Uh, but, uh, you know, it could be straightened out. No problem with a hammer on a rock or something. But it doesn't matter. The thing is, it does what it says it will. And it's a drawer and it could handle good amounts of, you know, crap. So, I, yes, I do durability testing and everything. As you can see, nothing's plugged in yet. Um... But it's not something that you could sit on. It's not like a filing cabinet like those giant ones. These are very lightly, uh, you know, light sheet metal, but it gets the job done and it goes right under the table. Very convenient. Uh, in fact, I, I could put my printer. If it was shorter, I'd put my printer over it. Or if I was going for a standing all the time, I'd put my printer on top of that and be done with it. Anyways, guys, as always, self-funded here. The only thing I ask is that you like the video, subscribe, hit that bell button. Um, and, uh, that's about it, but definitely comment. If you see anything else that's worth about the same money and better, let the community know. That's the reason I made this channel. I want to inform the community properly, not just with lies like these idiots that get paid to say something is great when it's not, and then sucker you into a link, uh, where they're making money off of you. Uh, so definitely I don't care about any of that garbage. I did this channel to provide honesty. And I'd like to share as much information as possible with the community. So if you see anything that's better, I want to know about it and let everyone know. And uh, together we could come up with the best solution. But this looks like the cheapest crap that I could find. And it's really, really awesome. And it gets the job done. I think it's like $60. So just uh, so you guys know, you don't need to have this. And you will be able to build the desk for a little bit over the $300 mark. But... Um, uh, if you do like it, <laughs> you know, the, the, you'll you'll get build the exact desk I have for a little bit over $400. So that's all I got to say about that. Anyways, have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye. As always, guys, if you like what you see, self-funded here. Be sure to check out all my other uh, stuff from mini series to unboxings to technology, you know, and uh, Nintendo reviews and 3D printer uh, reviews and all that good stuff. If you like what you see, the only way you can help the channel is by liking uh, this video, subscribing and hitting that bell button as many more cool videos to come. Definitely want you guys in it. And I want to, I want you guys to be vocal. Definitely comment down below. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Have a good one. Y'all take care. Bye.